and good afternoon. Welcome to Staff Gymnasium here on the campus of Brockton High School in the City of Champions for this BCA Sports presentation of the Big Three vs. Boston City League Challenge game between your Brockton Boxers and the O'Brien Tigers. My name is Peter Zimbor, joined alongside my broadcast partner, Miles Jackson. Very interesting situation. The game has just started, yet Brockton is already leading by a score of one to nothing. Not quite sure what happened. We'll try to figure it out, but there was a technical foul called before the game had even begun, and Michael New Phil hit one of his two free throw shots, so Brockton was leading one to nothing before the game had begun. Now they're leading by a score of three to nothing with the layup. Three to nothing is your score. Brockton on top. Miles, last year Brockton and O'Brien played a very quick-paced game here in the Boston City League tournament, where Brockton ended up victorious, 59 to 53 in the end. Very good game. Well, unfortunately, we're having some issues with your headset, Miles, so we'll try to get that under control if we can. We've got ourselves a whistle, and Michael Newfill will head to the free throw line once again. So Newfield going three for four at the free throw line to begin this game. Five to nothing is your score. Brockton with the lead. Seven minutes and ten seconds remaining here in the first quarter. O'Brien trying to muster up some points to no avail thus far. Very tenacious defense being played by Brockton. Eventually O'Brien gets the rebound. No good. Brockton now has possession of the ball. Kyle Houston over to Gerard Devon. Inside to Lewis Montz. Montz on the turnaround. So Lewis Montz will head to the free throw line. Miles Jackson will be joining us momentarily, some issues with his headset. We'll get him on in just a moment, folks. This will be an inbounding foul, not a shooting foul for the Brockton Boxers. Houston tries to get it in to Lewis Mons out of bounds. It will be the O'Brien Tigers ball. And that's number two for the O'Brien Tigers. Marco Benegas laying it up and in. Six minutes and 40 seconds remaining. And the ruffling you hear right now means that Miles Jackson's headset is being put in his head. Miles, thank you so much for joining us. Brockton jumping out to a 5-2 to lead. Yeah, Brockton, um, they're playing good basketball. Uh, they almost lost, no, not lost the game, but they was in big trouble last night against Bridgewater Ram and the big man. They had a very poor shooting game, but hopefully they'll turn it around this evening. Um, they always seem to get um, worked up playing the inner city teams because it just gives them a little bit more um, competition as far as speed goes. So we look for a good game today. And Brockton enters this game undefeated at 11-0. The O'Brien Tigers very competitive throughout the season, a record of 10-2 entering tonight's game. Big three versus City League Challenge game here at Staff Gymnasium, part of a triple header taking place here at the gym throughout the day. The Big Three has won a game today. The City League has won a game today. And I guess this game decides which league is indeed better. Sean Yard with the ball for Brockton. Up to Gerard Devon. Tries to get it to Gerard Devon. Pushed out of bounds by Isaiah Hector for the O'Brien Tigers. Yeah, again, the key to this game will be Brockton's defense. Can they shut down this very fast Tiger team? Gerard Devon with the quick jumper. Three, three, three. And Sean Yard trying for the takeaway. He's going to make some body contact with number two for the O'Brien Tigers, Marco Benegas, and that is going to be a personal foul. And it looks like uh, Sean lost his um, contact. contact. He did lose his contact as he's putting that back in his left eye on the court right now. Sean Yard. Had a big game last night for scoring. Start, start. 
Contacts just freak me out, I'm not gonna lie. Putting a little piece of glass inside your eye. Something unsettling about it. O'Brien Tigers trying to claw their way back into this game. Seven to two is the score. We've got a whistle underneath. That is gonna be on number 24 for the O'Brien Tigers, Valentine Amiibo. So, second personal foul of the game on the O'Brien Tigers. Brockton has three personal fouls as a team. Five minutes, 24 seconds remaining here on the first. Brockton with a seven to two advantage. And the Tigers' two fouls are on to their big men. Michael Newfield gets it over to Henry Vargas to Gerard Devon, shooting the three, no good, rebounded by the O'Brien Tigers. That's number 50, Matt Horan on the rebound. And bring the ball up is Marco Benegas. Benegas dishes it to the outside to Isaiah Hector. Jump shot, no good, rebounded by Lewis Mons for Brockton. Gets it over to Sean Yard the primary ball handler for this Brockton Boxer squad. And right now, Mons is controlling the defensive boards out there, getting a couple of rebounds, two or three rebounds already. Brockton continuing to move the ball around the outside. 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Outside to Sean Yard, he'll shoot from way downtown, no good, rebounded by Gerard Devon. He brings it back outside to Henry Vargas. Brockton taking plenty of time off the clock on this possession. Lewis Mont stops, pops. This will be a two. No good rebounded by Horan for the Tigers. Ill-advised pass by O'Brien. Probably a little bit too forceful, and the ball goes out of bounds. Exactly. Right now, both teams a little bit cold out there with the shooting, even though Brockton has a 7-2 lead. The crowd is really um, calm right now, so not a lot of excitement here at Staff Gymnasium early on. Yeah, as you can see, Brockton in their um, away jerseys, are they being complimentary to the um, visiting team and letting the Boston teams come in here wearing their game jerseys? Well, I think because the O'Brien Tigers jersey, their, their away jersey, is the white, as opposed to Brockton, whose home is the white. They don't have two teams wearing white, so Brockton is wearing their away jerseys here that they normally only wear on the road. And since we only cover home games throughout the regular season, our viewers aren't used to seeing these, so good observation, Miles. Brockton decked out in their black away jerseys this evening. And I heard the coach say, don't gamble, trying to push it up for something. And you can see Brian Raymond came up limping for Brockton. And he's like, he's okay. John Yard into Lewis Mons. Mons will draw a foul. That will be on Horan for O'Brien. And Lewis Mons will head to the free throw line to shoot two. And Lewis Mont wanted that ball bad. He knows he can take advantage of the big guy, number 50, Matthew Horan. So they got it to the right man, Lewis Mons, and he forced the issue and got a foul. And O'Brien trying to take it to the hole on their own. No good, Rondell Best on the rebound. Actually, Brian Raymond gets it over to Gerard Devon. Devon off the glass and in, draws the foul and one. That was a beautiful crisscross he did right at the end there as he got in the paint. And he has a chance to make a three-point play. Nice move by Gerard Devon. Well, the O'Brien Tigers call a timeout as they trail by eight. 10 to two is your score. Three minutes and nine seconds remaining here in the first quarter. Miles, before the game, had even begun and any seconds ticked away off the clock. Brockton entered with a one to nothing lead due to two free throws that 
the big man Michael Newfield was allowed to attempt before the game began. Technical foul called before the game. The O'Brien Tigers team was dunking during the pregame warm-ups, which I guess renders a technical foul. Yeah, in high school that is that is true. You cannot dunk during the the warm-ups. So that that is from what I gathered from the assistant coaching staff of the O'Brien Tigers. Three minutes and nine seconds remaining in the game. 10 to two is your score. There's Juan Figueroa, head coach for the O'Brien Tigers, talking things over with his team. And of course, the head coach for the Brockton Boxers is Bob Bowen, who sends his troops onto the floor, as you can see in the background. Here at Staff Gymnasium, Big Three versus City League Challenge. One positive thing right now, early in the ball game, Brockton is getting all the boards offensively as well as defensively. Um, still, they seem still a little null and void in the shooting, but I'm sure that'll come around. And that is Matt Horan putting in for two for O'Brien. Yeah, Matt hustles for those two points. They had good effort on his point, on his part, excuse me. Lewis Monster the ball at the top of the key for Brockton. Almost loses it during the dribbling. He'll retain possession. Gets it over to Henry Vargas from way outside. Way Shoots outside, a three. yes. That was way beyond even an NBA point three-pointer. And we'll have a personal foul called on Brockton. I'll tell you just Marco Banegas, if that's how you pronounce it. He has no problem going Benagas. to the hoop. Marco Banagas. Marco Banagas. Yeah, that, that foul on Henry Vargas. Yeah, he's a very fast player. But he's got some height on him. So uh, Henry Vargas got his hands full. And Anthony Rivers dishes it over to Matt Horan, puts it in for two. And that is Marco Bonegas going to the hole, just as you mentioned, Miles. And just like that, coming out of the timeout, the O'Brien Tigers are on a 6-0 run. Gerard Devon with the ball over to Henry Vargas. Vargas moves it around the perimeter to Lewis Mons. Mons will shoot the three. No good. Rebounded by Matt Horan for O'Brien. O'Brien with the ability to tie up the game in this possession as they take it inside. No good. Gerard Devon on the rebound. Ill-advised layup attempt by Anthony Rivers for O'Brien. Lewis Mons takes down the middle, puts it in for two. Oh, nice way to control your body. Lewis Mons saw the, saw the guy there holding his position, and somehow he just kind of Tinkle Bell his way around it and got the two points. Yeah, that's a mismatch with uh, Vargas and uh, number two, Marco. Anthony Rivers putting in for two for the O'Brien Tigers. Brockton trying to come back down, put some points on the board, and they do Gerard Devon a sixth point of the game. And we've got a whistle. And we've got... I didn't see what happened, but... I didn't see what happened as well. I just heard the pop of the crowd. And now we've got players... We've got... It looks like Brian Raymond is going to get a technical foul. Looks like he threw a ball at a O'Brien player. I don't know what happened exactly. We missed it, but there was a bit of a scuffle, and it looks like Anthony Rivers for O'Brien may have been involved to a degree. Yeah, I think Anthony Rivers did some provoking. He did something. And that wasn't very smart of Brian um, Raymond. As we try to listen in and see what happened. Looks like we're going to have someone ejected from the game. So number 44, Brian Raymond, I believe, has been ejected from the game. 
And we're going to see some free throw shots from Isaiah Hector for the O'Brien Tigers. And again, Isaiah Hector, I think he was the one that got Brian Raymond upset. But again, not a very smart move by Brian to uh, throw the basketball. The refs already stopped no, the play. No, not at all. And uh, they, they had control of the situation, but unfortunately, Brian let his emotions take over, and he's going to hurt his team. Yeah, not the most wise decision making on the part of him, a 44 Brian Raymond for Brockton. So Brian Raymond, the officials making sure that the coaching staff for Brockton knows he's done for the game. And Rondell Bess has stepped in for Brian Raymond. And Rondell Bess making it known right away. Oh, lays it up and in. Looks like he was going, is that a skyhook lay-in? I don't know how to call that. Well, I tell you what, if he could have dunked that, oh, this place would have erupted. This place would have erupted. So Rondell Best comes in right away, gets a steal. And we've got a foul called on Brockton. Didn't quite see who it was on. It'll be a number 43, Rondell Best. So it's a foul upon coming in the game as well. Anthony Rivers at the line misses his first attempt. And connects for a second. Henry Vargas with the ball for Brockton, looking for help inside to Gerard Devon, takes it inside on his own, no good, rebounded by O'Brien, but the man who rebounded, Isaiah Hector, stepped on the line out of bounds, Brockton ball. Gee, I just love the way Ger Gerard Devon goes hard to the basket, doesn't mind getting fouled. Just a great inside ball player. Henry Vargas for three, connects. Nice shot by Henry Vargas, didn't waste no time, felt it and shot it. Wayne Selden to Horan. Horan unable to make the layup. Rebounded by Brockton. And that will be a foul on Matt Horan. That was just great defense by Rondell Best to keep Horan Horan from um, hitting that shot. Again, Gerard Devon knows how to get to the free throw line. one for two at the free throw line. 10 seconds to go here in the first quarter. And O'Brien trying to get one last shot off. That's not going to happen. And we've got a foul called on Peter Vega as it looks like inadvertently his elbow sort of hit the face of an O'Brien player. That wasn't intentional like Brian Raymond's penalty earlier on in the game, I believe. Or maybe the officials will claim it is as number one Isaiah Hector is at the line shooting all by himself. Yeah, just as the buzzer was going off, he was fouled. And Hector makes his first. Both teams already in already. the bonus through one quarter of play. I was just getting ready to say that already. And Hector goes one for two at that trip to the line. So we come to the end of the first quarter. Brockton with an eight-point lead. 20 to 12 is your score in a foul-filled first quarter. Both teams have seven fouls apiece. And the Brockton boxers forward number 44, Brian Raymond, has been ejected from the game as a result of his flagrant fouling. Yes, and again, the reason this game is 20 to 12 Brockton is because Brockton has controlled the offensive boards as well as the defensive boards um, and that's why the game is 20 to 12. And there you see Juan Figueroa talking things over with his troops for the O'Brien Tigers. These teams have history with each other. The last time they played was in this Big Three versus City League Challenge last year. Brockton ended up victorious 59 to 53 and there you see the Brockton Boxers squad on your team as the five players who are currently participating take the floor.
think Brockton's intensity on defense has pick, picked up a notch since the middle of the uh, third qu first quarter. And that's their specialty is defense. So Sean Yard with the ball for Brockton over to Gerard Devon. Devon over to Peter Vega. Vega back outside to Sean Yard. Inside to Vega in the paint, off the glass, no good. Brockton comes up with the rebound. That's Devon ripping it away. Very intense play on the inside by both squads. Yeah, Vega had a big chance. Henry Vargas for three, no good. And we've got a foul. It's going to be on Rondell Best, I believe. Yes, Rondell came over the back going after that rebound. And we've got one and one from here on out since both teams are in the bonus. That's going to significantly slow the pace of the game, Miles, and